that a lot. Major sighting is now occurring across parts of western Queensland. These images coming in to us from outback Queensland. As you can see, flooding rainfall has now hit many parts of Queensland in the last week or so. Now, this rainfall was due to a low-pressure system. The remnants of that system still impacting northwestern Queensland today. Across the tropics, a separate weather system has driven in flooding rainfall this morning. This is just inland from Cairns. As you can see, the roads completely cut off in some outback regions of Queensland and we're continuing to see flooding rainfall right now. So we have moist onshore winds combining with an active monsoon trough across northern Queensland. That's the low pressure system there that did drive in that flooding rainfall I just showed you through the northwest of the state. Elsewhere around the nation it's quite settled and dry through the southeast. We do have a broad region of high pressure and heat has shifted towards the eastern interior of WA following a trough. The storm clouds quite evident on my satellite imagery behind me and the radars have been bubbling to life over the last 24 hours or so. We have seen some good totals, particularly around the northern tropics, Cairns over 50 millimetres, South Johnston's uh, further south over 150. Areas just south of Innisfail have actually collected over 250 millimetres in the last 24 hours. Those sorts of totals will lead to flash flooding and areas of flooding. There you are there. The 24 hour totals, Innisfail seen 133. We still had some good falls across northwestern Queensland, even though our low pressure system is moving offshore. Winton 24, drought affected areas of Queensland, such as Roma, 28 millimetres in the gauge there, and King Ori has seen 18. Further south, the Gold Coast, 31, and onshore winds are driving in showers right now to southeast Queensland. In terms of the forecast rain, as you can see, it is really ramping up across the northern tropics, a darker red shading indicating the intense rainfall. Our low pressure system will continue to drive in more showers and thunderstorms across northwestern Queensland before shifting west into the Northern Territory where we do have showers and thunderstorms wrapping up across the east. Now a flood watch has been issued for the western, central and eastern inland river catchments of the NT in anticipation of this rain event. We also have a flood watch in place from Ingham to Cooktown for this rainfall here. Two separate weather systems really driving in this rain event across Queensland over the next 24 hours. These are our river catchments, so this does show the past seven days rain. The brightest red indicates rainfall totals over 300 millimetres. And right now, while well, major flooding is occurring through the Flinders River catchment at Richmond, the Western River catchment in Queensland at Winton, and the Diamantina River catchment. So the flood watches, as I mentioned earlier, still in place. Ingham to Cooktown. The bullseye of this event for you in northern tropical Queensland is across today and tomorrow. So the south showers have been hitting the New South Wales coastline quite heavy. In fact, we had over 200 millimetres falling at Bellingen. Casino had over 40. And these were our totals to 9 a.m. So the 24 hours to 9 a.m. Coffs Harbour 65 millimetres. Lismore 36. Kempsey 22. Port Macquarie around 8. Not too much around the Sydney region. We did have a heavy band of showers move through at around 5 p.m. last night. Uh, Rose Bay collected 5 millimetres. Sydney Airport has seen over 3. Sydney itself around 2. For today, onshore winds will drive in showers once again. They will be more likely about the northern half of the coastline and through the northern rivers is where the heaviest falls will be today for New South Wales. Good morning to you in Perth. It's been a humid start. Bit of cloud cover about as well. 22 degrees. Adelaide is already sitting on 27 and after quite a cool night, temperatures are quickly rising across southeastern Australia under high pressure, clear skies and light winds. Our trough has shifted slightly inland across WA, so the heat is shifting towards the east, that dark red shading filtering on down, a good indicator of how hot it is going to be through uh, parts where we're seeing east of this trough really is Albany, 7 degrees above the monthly average. Cool southerly winds pushing up though, so Perth is headed for a cooler top of 31 degrees, if you want to call that cool.